Okay, I want to show you palpation um, of the abdomen, a few different tests that we do. Uh, it's very common to have trigger points in the abdomen with pelvic floor dysfunction. So a few uh, landmarks that you want to check, of course, would you can feel around iliacus, if you wanted to palpate so as you could, um, but then just in general, we like to check for trigger points through the abdomen, and if you find one, is that sore? Um, a test that you can do, a test that you can do to identify um, if it is a true muscular trigger point versus maybe a visceral or organ um, is Carnet's test. So all you do is to palpate the trigger point and then I'm going to ask her to raise her head and shoulders up and then I'm going to say does that make it worse or better and if it if it increases in pain when she crunches up then that's going to be positive that it's a trigger point in uh, her abdominal muscle versus a sore organ the other thing I like to palpate is um, diaphragm along the rib cage for trigger points And then also watch the quality of her breath. Go ahead and take a breath for me. See how she breathes. <clears throat> and then a more kind of uh, detailed mobility of the abdominal organs. And I don't think we're going to really go over um, how to treat it necessarily because this is a kind of a specialized area of visceral visceral mobility and treatment, but you can easily um, screen to see how the organs move. So the bladder is gonna be just over the pubic symphysis. And then um, I'm gonna use one hand for the video so I don't block it, but typically I would use two hands. So you just kind of sink in and check how it moves side to side. And then you can do the same for the um, digestive tract. And to do that, I kind of grab just below the umbilical and above, and you can glide that way as well to see if there's any restriction and then again just um, medial to the iliacus kind of do the same thing for the lower digestive tract just to see if one side feels tighter than the other um, it, because it's pretty highly correlated, again, with pelvic floor dysfunction that people have restriction in those areas.